fear not, it's not frozen up. I'm just grabbing something from up the truck. Got a little partial thing to do here. Unboxing as well as uh <clears throat> well then you gotta put these knives back up. I didn't sell them, they fit a couple of masks and had a couple left over. Okay, well I got this to unbox, so I'm gonna do this first. This is still cold. It might still be damp. So what I'll probably end up doing here mm, it's not wet, it's just damp. So I think what I want to do there we go. You can do this to dry out your molds a little bit, help cure them up a little bit. Take a heat gun. And hit it with a heat gun, it's cold. I don't know, it's cold because it's been sitting out here all night and it's winter and the temperature wasn't 70 degrees like it was yesterday. I'll probably have to do this, uh, not just demold it, but I'll have to do the ultra cow thing tomorrow um, and mold this in ultra cow for the latex uh, because it is a little too cold out here at the moment. Here. Hell, I did get your box today. A very air trucker sitting in a care package of some kind. I'll do a lot of unboxing of that. We'll find out what that is. Okay. I got this Vaseline, so it should fall away real easy from this, but no problems. Okay. And do a Vaseline thing, and I got a little bit of strip here that came off because it, but you got one side, comes away free. Same for the back side. You just gotta fry and flush best as you can on some of these. And I don't want to flush it too much, but you see what we did? I built up the flange on the outside, because you remember when you built that square? On the inside of the mold, it is square all the way around. And this is where I used the little loose feet. And remember I told you that sometimes when you use your little loose feet, it won't stick and it'll come off? That's why I do long strips. And 
And here's the back. That comes off one piece. So now, when I go to put it back together, if I need it, it will fit within each other itself, like so, without having to worry because it's got that flange piece that are locked together. So there you go. They're locked together, just, just like that. I'm going to seal this off, and then I'm going to set this aside to do the ultra cow molding probably tomorrow. I want to wait for a little warmer weather just to make sure it works. And you see all the details coming out? The clay is not coming off. <sighs> I may have to cut this up the back, I do not know. If I do, I just do a little scissor incision. I don't really want to, but usually I can peel these off. But I do have a uh, chin thing here, so. I think that's what Tofu wants to see is how is it going to feel off over the head with the chin, the head being so big and the chin being in the way. But I can cut it up to that. I don't want to, but I can. And I probably will do that right now. Following in, I don't want to cut through any of the detail uh, if necessary. So I will take a little zester knife and do a squiggle cut. Uh, let me get my little blade cutter here. And I'll find out where these details are so I don't cut through them. And when you cut, you want to do a zigzag pattern. So, I'll probably stop right here and cut a zigzag pattern into the silicone. I don't know if I'm cutting all the way through or not. What you do want to do is zigzag seven. That way it doesn't tear too much. Now when you get to this part here that you do have a um, a uh, 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 need to, to pull it off, you want a hole punch right here at the top. So when you hole punch it, it will not tear any further than necessary. That's good, that's a good guidance for latex mask as well. I'm going to go all the way around, lay this down for a second. The three layers of latex or silicone came up pretty thick. Let's peel this off as gently as I can without putting too much pressure because I don't want to form the clay underneath. Fill it up over the face and it should just fall right off. 
without any additional tearing and shit like that. I just roll it up. And the teeth are coming out. There we go. The teeth are coming out. Shit. I got one. I got one. I gotta find the teeth because if I fucking lose them, I gotta do them again. Feels right off like this. Boom. Feels right that. Now see, I stopped it at the point right there where this was embedded so it would not tear further. And I've got two or three teeth that are missing out of this. A little puffed out of the mouth. There's one right here. And there's another one which is on the table here somewhere but I can't see it because it's so light. So I just flip this bad boy inside out. It's a thick three, three, uh, three layer mold. Lay that right over here. I gotta find that cheese. Man, those teeth are just, they're just gonna fucking, oh, that's gonna mess with me so I can find them. I'll get my stuff over here real quick and I'll take a peek under here. On the floor. Oh my god. Well, I'll get another kit in there of teeth so I'll have to try to mess it up. I end up having to make a mold of them anyway. <coughs> But there you go, successful demold, minus two teeth that I can see. So, and I didn't show you guys this, the final sculpting, but I did intentionally sculpt an eye in there just to have that. So if somebody wanted a wearable mask, I could just cut that out as an eye hole. Also a placement marker for the acrylic eye that will go in there. So this will get molded up uh, this weekend in UltraCal. I'm going to have to remove the teeth um, because of the fact that uh, they are gapped in behind here, and I don't want to take a chance of this sticking onto the UltraCal. Because if I do that, and I put UltraCal up behind the teeth, even if I Vaseline them and I try to demold it, it's going to pull the teeth out. It'll probably crack and break the UltraCal because it'll be somewhat thin in behind there. So if I take these teeth out, it still has the cavity in the socket that the teeth will go into. I just have to try to remember where they go, where they would go in the mask. And so far as the resin, we already did that with this. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if these teeth are in, because the mold of the teeth are already in this. I've always wanted to do that. So now 
we will go over here to the other side and do a little unboxing for Nevada Ale Tucker. <laughs> 